Okay, so here we're going to look at language forms. The question we've got is, how does the writer use language and structure here to make the read, to tell the reader about the narrator? So you can include the writer's choice of words and phrases, language features and techniques, and sentence forms. The fact they're prompting you to use these means they want you to look at these aspects. So that's what we're going to consider. For this, we're using the opening section of uh, Robert Swindle's Stone Cold. If you've not read the book, there's going to be spoilers in this, so I would avoid using this. This is from the second page of the book where it switches between narrators. So the first thing I would do is simply read through it. So daily routine orders one. As you read it, think how he wants it to sound in your head. Look at things like punctuation, any italics, any bold, any speech, things like that. Shelter. Yes, I like it. We've got the full stops there, so it's making you pause. It's got a ring to it, as I'm sure you'll agree. Shelter, as in shelter from the stormy blast. It's what they're all seeking, the street people, what they crave. If they can only find shelter, everything will be fine. Well, get fell in my lucky lads. I'm ready for you. So let's have a little look. I'm going to start off with these sentence forms, which they prompt you on. Right at the start here, we've got three short sentences. This is designed to make you pause. So write that down, make a little note, scribble all over this so you know what you're doing. So it pauses, it's really making you consider. We don't know the relevance of this word shelter so far. So I'm gonna highlight that, even the fact that this is a mystery to us, because it's only to page two of the book. As a reader, we don't know what's happening here. It's first person, so we know he's narrating to us. It's got a ring to it, as I'm sure you'll agree. This is a language feature. This is directed speech. Don't worry about my handwriting. He's talking at you as a reader, trying to get you interested. Shelter is in shelter from the stormy blast. Stormy blast is an interesting point. Why not just write storm? Again, here we're looking at words and phrases we're analysing on a word level. I think the fact that he's emphasised this word blast, it makes it sound like an explosion. It's something really sudden. Maybe a big event, so we know it's going to build up. If you think about those narrative mountains we analyse, it's what they're all seeking. So straight away we're asking, who are they? Seeking's an interesting word as well. This idea that they're obviously searching for something. The street people, again, short sentence, it's clear. It wants you to consider that. What they crave, again, on a language level, they refers to the street people. Crave, I think that's a very negative word. If you crave something, you tend to talk about addiction. You crave things like cigarettes or drugs. It's not a positive as seeking or searching could have been. If they can only find shelter, everything will be fine. So because it's going to be fine if they get shelter, if they don't, what's going to happen? Again, this is very negative, this sense of brooding. Well, get fell in my. Again, he's talking about him. Lucky lads, I'm ready for you. A bit of alliteration here. It's quite nice on the tongue when you read it. The fact that he's ready for you. Is this a good thing? He's saying it's good because if you find shelter, everything will be fine. But the use of lucky lads, I'm ready for you. It doesn't sound positive when you put it into combination with things like crave and blast. I think it's quite an ominous passage. Also, on a word level, if you look at words like fell, get fell in. I don't know what that means. Later on, we kind of figure it out and we figure out why this language has been used. But at this point, we don't really know. Even, go right back to the start, what about the title? Daily Routine Orders One. The word routine is an interesting choice. He's not saying da daily diary, dear diary, anything like that. It's routine, it's orders, it's very structured. And as we know from later in the book, it's very militaristic, which then ties into this idea of fell in. Where he's giving us clues as we start what this character is like, and it doesn't sound positive.